more and they're more knowledgeable now than they were 20 years ago. If they're having to use this as a substitute in the absence of real modeling of relationships and real education from parents and real information supplied by parents, then it may very well be a very negative influence if they have nothing else and they turn to television mm -hmm. as their model. But this isn't something brand new. We can't pretend that kids never learned about sex in the pre-TV era. In fact, an awful lot of the youngsters' education about sex back in the old days came from so-called dirty jokes. And what did mm -hmm. dirty jokes accomplish? They gave people the attitude that sex is dirty. Uh, we believe that if parents could only come <clears throat> to talk with their children in a responsible way about sex, in an ongoing, loving way, not about the mechanics of it as much as the feeling side of sex, the responsibilities, the meanings of sex, mm -hmm. then we would come to, to share things. And in fact, research has shown very clearly that in those families where effective sex education is provided, teenage pregnancy rates are astonishingly lower than in other families. That's interesting. Yes, I think it's so terribly important that uh, uh, that they do have some manner of, of guide, some manner of uh, some source that they can go to. Oh, I agree, Either mom absolutely. or pop or in the millennium, both. Mm -hmm. Well, let's come back, and when we do, let's talk about...